Hello and welcome to the latest episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with Your Friends at Peppermint Narwhal. In this video series, we teach you how to draw animals in a fun and simple way while sharing facts about the species as we go. So let's go ahead and get started and see what animal we're drawing today. And we've selected the fennec fox as the animal that we'll be drawing. The fennec fox is the world's smallest fox and it's also the smallest member of the canid family and that includes foxes, wolves, and dogs. The fennec fox is its common name, as I mentioned already. Below that, you see in the parentheses, we have its scientific name, Vulpus verda. And then below that, we have a good status for this animal. It's right now least risk of, con or least concern for extinction. And that's great. That comes from the IUCN's Red List of Threatened Species. So we'll go ahead and pull this out of the way, and we'll go ahead and get started. Oops. And I'm using pencil and paper. Uh, as my drawing medium of choice. You're free to use whatever you like. I like pencil and paper because it's easy to find around the house and uh, it's kind of nice because you can draw a little bit light and then you can kind of darken uh, your lines in and you also have the eraser. So that's kind of my two cents on pencil and paper. But use whatever you like and whatever you have available. Now, if you're new to this series, I'm gonna introduce you to a drawing method called Basically, we're using like a dot to dot method, teaching you how to use, uh, how to draw using these dot to dots. And you've all familiar with dot to dots. If you've been on a video before, you know exactly what I'm doing. I use three dots for a curved line and two dots for a straight line. And in this case, I'm opening with the curved line. So we've got three dots here. I use this middle dot to help us make the arch of the curve. And there you go. See, I'm just making a nice curved line there to start us off. That looks pretty good. Now, below that, we're going to put a dot over here, and we're basically going to kind of basically make a curved line using those other two dots, kind of seam that together. That looks pretty good. Now, we'll go ahead and put another one over here. It's going to be a little smaller, just a little offset, so we'll put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot there for three dots again, and then a nice curving line, sort of bring those to two dots, three, uh, three points together. And then we'll just put another point on the bottom because we're going to use those two other points there. And again, you can go either direction once you've got this down. And basically, we've got two nice little almond shapes there. And those are going to be our eyes. Uh, this animal has kind of very nice almond-shaped eyes. So we'll go ahead and color those in. But I'm going to leave a little bit of almost like drawing a circle inside of each of these eyes. And then I'm not going to color in that circle and color in everything around that. And that way, I get it saving a little bit of the white of the paper there. It gives me a nice white of the eyes for that animal. So that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and color those in. Okay, now we're going to put on the nose and snout here. And to do that, we're gonna make a little bit of a straight line right about here. So two dots right off of this other eye. And then we'll just bring that down nicely like that. Now we're going to make a curved line over here. And we're gonna continue right off of that last point and just make a nice curve like, just like that. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to make another curve line, sort of starting over here with a dot. We'll do a dot there. And we'll do a dot there. And then we'll just kind of make that curve line just like that. Okay, so right at the right around this intersection of that, we're going to make a little triangle with the tip pointing down and kind of connecting here. So you might want to just watch me draw this. That's going to be our nose of our animal. And there we go, we've got that sort of nice nose there. And I'm just gonna kind of connect this line here with that other line, and uh, that way I've finished off that snout. And then I like, we like happy animals here on Peppermint Narwhal, so I'm gonna make just a simple uh, dimple smile right below that eye, just like that. And I'll make a nice simple curve line, just connecting that nicely, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now up here on this side, we're going to draw a little bit of a curve line here. And we've got three points touching that snout side there. And we'll just sort of bring that together there, just like that. That looks pretty good. Now, uh, just below this head here, we'll put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot there. And then we'll kind of bring those together in a longer curve for this side of the head. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to start to put a line right about up here. Just, I'm sorry, we're gonna put a dot and a dot. And we'll just do a little straight line there and that's gonna be the top of our head. And then from here in the interior, we're gonna put a dot and a dot 
I'll just kind of do a straight line just like that. And then we'll do a curved line from this point to this point to this point. There we go. We've got a nice little curved line. So now we're working on creating these big ears for this animal. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue that here. Uh, we're going to come up to the top of this point here that we had. We'll put a dot there. We'll just leave that dot that we had there. We'll put a dot out here and a dot out here. And we're basically making another nice curved line there for that, that dot. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to bring this back down to this side here that we've been working. So I'm going to put that, leave that dot. We're going to kind of aim at a dot on here. And I'll put a curve like that. And there we go. We'll just connect those nicely. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we're going to, uh, where we made this sort of curving point, this little point here, we're going to put a dot maybe right about here, a dot maybe right about here, and a dot right there maybe. And we're just gonna kind of connect those. And then we're starting the inside of the ear of this fennec fox. That looks pretty good. Now, uh, basically we're going to, we got one of the ears sort of drawn here, this big long ear that they have. They have very disproportionately big ears for such a small little fox. Um, we'll talk a little bit about um, why ears are big and how that uh, is a helpful adaptation for certain things. So we'll, first we'll just put a little bit of hair inside of here using almost like a technique that you use to draw grass, just sort of like some little fluff there. And I'm just going to darken the top of this inside of the ear. There's a lot of hair inside the ear, but towards the tip there's a little less, so you see a little more uh, shadow of the depth of the ear. So there we go, we've got uh, one of our ears put in place. We're gonna go ahead and come back to this side and create the other ear. So I'm gonna put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And we're all pretty familiar with this now three dot curving method, so that's pretty good. I can actually talk more about the ears and you'll see when I make these three dots, you know I want a curving line there. So there, the big ears are a benefit to this animal for a number of reasons. Uh, one of the most important ones is bigger ears collect more sound. So this animal operates in the desert and he's also nocturnal. So a fennec fox is a nocturnal animal and it operates in the desert. So to be able to hear animals like prey items, uh, it needs really big or big ears are very helpful for that animal to then be able to identify those uh, prey items and pick up more distant sounds and more faint sounds. So these big ears are very helpful for that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little grassy technique that I did over here. I'm just gonna kind of make some simple lines just like that. So again, kind of mirroring that. And now we're gonna fill in, we're gonna put in the inner ear here and it's just gonna be kind of mirroring this with some curved lines here. So we mentioned that big uh, ears are great for capturing sound and hearing sounds, uh, but they're also good for one other important uh, trait and that's to help the body uh, maintain a temperature and that's called thermoregulation. So an animal that has big ears can use its big ears to essentially pump blood into these big ears and then that blood can be cooled down and then when it comes back into the body it's almost like an air conditioning system for the blood and it really helps reduce temperature. So when you live in a hot desert that can be very handy. To, these big ears can really help out in that respect. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the rest of this ear uh, again using a curving line technique here we got three dots and then we'll just kind of bring that all together and that's looking pretty good we got a very cute little face on our fennec fox he looks pretty good we'll just kind of add that extra little detail to those big ears there at the top now we're going to do the back side of this animal he's going to kind of be looking backward um, so we'll put a dot right here a dot here and a dot here now these animals are very small as you said they're the smallest member of the canid species and uh, smallest fox in the world so uh, going to make him kind of crouching here. Uh, these are very social animals. They often live in groups of other uh, fennec foxes. We'll start putting on his back leg here with another curve line technique. So there we go. We've got this nice curve line there for his back there. And then uh, I'm just going to kind of extend that down with a little straight line there just to make that a little longer. Two more dots there. So that looks pretty good. Now at the bottom of this uh, uh, leg here, we'll go ahead and put a dot out here and a dot here. And we'll make a straight line. And then we've got a little bit of small space here, so I'm just gonna round this off with a little bit of curving line there uh, for that back leg. And then from there, I can put a dot there and a dot here to just kind of complete the rest of that back leg. 
and that looks really nice. Now we'll put a couple toes on this guy. Uh, to do toes, they're almost just like a little like upside down J's uh, or little canes uh, or candy canes just sort of uh, tucked in there. So that gives us some nice digits on those feet. And then we'll start the forefront leg. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put a dot here and we'll put a dot here and we'll just do a nice straight line for that. That looks pretty good. And then uh, on the back side of this, we'll put a dot here and a dot here to just draw that straight down. And then we'll put a dot here and a dot here and just make another straight line. It's gonna be the bottom part of our, our leg. And then I'm going to come back up here. It'll be a little easier if we just put in the rest of this foreleg here, top part of it. And there we go, got a nice little straight line there. And that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here and just kind of round those off to get that front leg there. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll put in some more of those little digits on there. Uh, and that looks pretty nice. All right, now we're going to add a little bit of just fluff here for his chest kind of fluffing out as he's looking backwards here. So it's similar to drawing the grass there. You can just watch me. I'm just basically drawing like a few more blades of grass there, fluffing it out there. He's a fluffy little fox. And then we'll go ahead and just sort of in this interior area, we'll just make a little curve line for the belly. And there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, that's looking nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and add another front leg here and just kind of mirroring the one we have here. And as I'm doing that, uh, you can see I'm just kind of matching exactly what we drew. I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the, another adaptation they have. So these guys operate on uh, walking around on the hot desert sand. So they actually have furry underfeet. Um, and you might wonder, well, why would you want more hair in the hot desert? But when you're walking on hot sand, it helps to have not exposed skin or flesh. So those furry underfeet really help them uh, prevent their uh, fleshy parts of their feet, the pads of their feet from getting burned. So that's another nice adaptation for the desert life. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put on the tail. Uh, to do that, we'll sort of put a dot right out here, a dot out here, and a dot out here. And we'll just make a nice kind of curving line for this. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to come over here in the interior, put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here, and we'll make a curve line there. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll continue moving this line down. We'll put another uh, dot here and a dot here and a smaller curve. So there we go. And then I'm going to kind of reverse that direction there almost give it a little bit of a tip that looks pretty good and then from this dot to this dot we're going to kind of connect them but we're going to use a curved line so we'll put a dot down there to kind of dip down and then we're just going to kind of make this big curving shape to bring that back up and there's our nice uh, tail there and the tail tips are a little bit uh, darker so i'll go ahead and uh, darken this just using my pencil just kind of hatching in some nice darker lines there and that looks pretty good and you can see from this uh, little animal with these big ears and these big eyes and this kind of cute little face it almost looks like you could see a pokemon being inspired by this uh, real life animal so that looks pretty good we're pretty much done with ours i'll just put on a little up, uh, extra details i'll put a little bit of you know white around the eyes they're overall, uh, unlike a red fox, they're, they're much more muted in color. That's also an adaptation that helps them kind of blend in with their uh, forest environment. I'm sorry, not forest environment, desert environment. So that really lighter color blends in with the sands very nicely. If you want to put a few whiskers on here, remember whiskers are something that you kind of draw quickly. If you've been on a past episode, uh, if you've ever drawn a mouse or, or a... Uh, cat those are helpful and whiskers are animals that have whiskers that use those whiskers to sense uh extra vibrations or details of their area they help even with dark uh, moving about in the dark when you can't really see so well so those can really pick up a lot of extra sensations and another fun thing as i close out this uh, drawing here uh, this animal actually doesn't because it lives in the desert you don't find a lot of water so this animal will actually get almost all of its water from the prey it eats so it never really needs to find water as long as it's eating something it's going to do okay so there we go we've got our fennec fox uh, we'd love to see how your fennec fox turned out you can share that with us by going to the hashtag whoops get that right minty sketch uh, you can either post that online or have your parents help you do that and that way we can see it and others who will follow the series can check it out as well thanks for participating in this drawing today we hope you had fun drawing this super cute fennec fox uh, if you like this video please give it a like at the on this page and if you'd like to follow this page you can subscribe to it and that way you'll get updates on any of the latest videos that we have posted till then we'll see you back again here with another episode of how to draw awesome animals with peppermint narwhal have a great day